So hi there, welcome to Andy Hancock, and today we're building massive bridges. And what does that mean? Well, it means using yesterday's sandcastle and adding a new £300 block. We had a volunteer to test it, test the strength, then we fixed it, and we made some small inset cuts in it. It was a lot of fun, we always have fun on the beach. So uh, the young lady couldn't believe how strong it was, she was stunned. So uh, anyway, there we go, we've... Uh, we made some inset cuts. A lot of people are intimidated about building such big bridges. Uh, you just have to take your time. I mean, there's no rushing this deal. Um, so there you get you get your hand stacking buckets nice and close to where you are. And then you've got a nice short lift uh, with your wet sand in your hands. And that means you retain most of the water. So this is very, very simple to do. And then check the size of the bucket on uh, onto between the castle and the new block. And uh, yes, you have to make sure that your buckets are nice and close, because if they aren't, it, life just gets very difficult. You can imagine people saying, oh, you can do this if you just dig a wet hole in the beach. Yeah, that doesn't work. So uh, when you're building professional stuff like this, we uh, you have to have a, a, a sand and water very close. You also, it's great if you've got a volunteer. I mean, I've got a cameraman, uh, but he can't shovel sand and water while he's using the camera. So <laughs> I had to stop once or twice to fill the bucket. But uh, uh, you do need it nice and full for when you're hand stacking. And that way you don't run out of great big quantities of sand and water, which you'll need. So you can see I'm using a lot of wet sand to form the bridge. And this is because I'm using it to support the base of the upright that I'm building with the hand stacking. And uh, I just think it makes it stronger and gives it more form. So that's why I do it like this. I smear it with my hands as well. I'm forever on my videos saying don't use your hands. But uh, in this case, we're just smoothing with it and getting, making sure the shape is tight into the next uh, uh, edge. And also we're pushing the sand into the gaps and smearing with our fingers to make sure it's firmly pressed against the next castle. Because the last thing you want to do is build a bridge this big, take the bucket out and then see a huge gap. So you can see I'm using my hands all the time to just hold the sand steady. A lot of people get concerned about the sand running away under their fingers. And uh, you just, it's something you get used to. Um, that's just the, uh, the only way to describe it. You don't have to worry about it. I just smear it away anyway. So yes, and it, it takes a lot longer to drain, obviously, because you're doing it on top of a plastic bucket and uh, plastic doesn't absorb water. So, <laughs> so uh, that's what we do. I'm trying to make it about three to four inches thick and then it'd be nice and strong. You regularly have to fill the bucket, which is a chore when you've got a cameraman who could fill the bucket, but he's too busy using the camera. And then there are some awkward little spots next to the tower, next to the wall, the brick, and stuff I've already done. You just have to slap it in there and <laughs> do it. It's There's no easy way to do that. So always make sure it's a slightly thinner bridge at the top. And then you could look at it like, I always take a look around and walk around the castle, uh, making sure the bridge is the same all the way around and I haven't missed anything big or there's some huge gappy hole somewhere <laughs> and uh, we were pretty lucky with this one but I wasn't expecting the big castle to stand so there it is it's all full out and you see those handles and people say do I just pull it out now no don't do that so <laughs> you have to cut it out so we cut it out first use the big trowel just to make a nice arch on the top follow the shape of the bucket and that's very, very easy. This trowel is fabulous for, for doing the big, fast stuff. I mean, people always ask how I go so quickly. Well, this is how I go so quickly because I have the right tools. So uh, the big trowel, you can get that into there. We're going to have to fill that gap and, and manipulate that and turn it into stone later. So we're just scraping down to the edge to get to the firm sand. I didn't want too much sand pushing against the castle. I know it sounds crazy. Castle's 1,200 pounds, but it had been there. Um, about 28 hours by this time, so uh, I wasn't sure how dry it was. Then use your small tool. I have a, a flexible spatula I use, and you cut it out. And it's very gentle, so you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry about uh, it pushing on anything because the spatula will bend first. So as I have said before, you just carry on at this stage, nice and gently, taking the sand away from the side of the bucket. And then when you've cut around all the way around the edge, you do it both sides, of course, work from both sides. It just means it's even. Now watch this. Bink! There's the sand. There was the bucket moving. So what you have to do is just gently release that bucket. People want to pull them out. It's not, that's not what to do. So then take off some of the excess weight. I mean, that's just basic engineering. Make the middle 
and the top of the thing thinner than the, the two sides and then it will stand a lot lot longer um it's just one of those things if it's a competition you've only got two hours well you know it, it virtually any bridge will stand up for two hours but uh, if it's going to be there all day which this was um it has to be a lot stronger so there you go and in competitions if you're doing a two-day competition obviously you'd spray it and other things so we'll do videos on spraying and all that stuff later but uh, there you go there's the bridge finished and i always like to just you go around both sides you can see how thin it is at the top it's thinner at the top i should say not thin and then uh, just finish it off and get those areas and then now i'm always telling people not to use the fingers uh just smear the wet sand this sand is still very wet at the base you can fill in the little gaps in the air holes just smear it into place so if you've got a big hole you'll feel it um just do it gently with the outside of your fingers and then i like to make my arches straight sided because they look more dramatic i think um so there you go and uh, you can cut away the entire left side of that block too so there you go i turned it into a building in this case but there you are so have a good time and i'll see you on the beach